If you watched my last video, you'll know that Authy is my recommended free two-factor authentication app. So how do you use Authy across all your devices, both mobile and desktop? Well, the good news is the setup process is very straightforward. You'll need to provide a phone number and email address, and then you'll receive an SMS code to authenticate your account. You're then ready to link your first account with Authy. And for this demonstration, I'll enable, I'll enable two-factor authentication on Wilson's Microsoft account. The option to enable 2FA is usually either found in accounts or security settings. For Microsoft, it's under advanced security options. So we'll click on turn on and then we'll hit next. We're then asked what method of 2FA we wish to use. In some cases, you can opt for using an SMS message instead of using a dedicated app. But since I'm going to be using Authy, I'll choose set up a different authenticator app. We're now presented with a QR code, which is the standard way of linking your authenticator app to your accounts. So in Authy, we'll click on the plus button followed by scan QR code, and then we'll hold the phone's camera up to the screen. Now, because this is the first account we're linking, Authy prompts us to enter a password to back up the app. This is important because if you ever lose access to the app, you'll potentially lose access to all your accounts. Confirm your password by re-entering it, and then you'll need to enter the six digit PIN shown in the app on Microsoft's website to finish linking the Microsoft account with Authy. And that's it. We have now enabled two-factor authentication on our Microsoft account. From this point onwards, whenever we log into Microsoft, we'll be asked for our username and password and the six digit PIN provided by Authy. So let's click on the settings icon in the top right corner of the screen to see the other features available in Authy. Once in settings, we have a menu along the bottom of the screen. Clicking on accounts displays all the accounts we have linked to the app and shows us that we have backups enabled. Here we have the option to change our backup password. And if we click on one of the individual accounts, we can change how the name is displayed in Authy. Sliding right gives us the option to delete. However, be sure to disable 2FA for the associated account before deleting anything inside Authy. The next menu option is where we can enable multi-device access which is a really useful feature. It will allow us to use Authy on multiple mobile devices, such as a phone and a tablet, or in my case, I'll use it on my mobile and on my laptop. This is handy because it means I don't need to have my mobile close by every time I log into an account on my laptop. To install Authy on Mac or PC, navigate to authy.com and click on the download button. Choose your operating system and once downloaded, run through the installation process. As with the mobile setup, you'll be asked to provide your phone number. At this point, Authy recognizes you already have an account and asks if you wish to authenticate your account using the app on your existing device. We'll click on that and on our phone, you can see we're prompted to link our account. Type yes to confirm and we can now see my computer is listed under the connected devices. To complete the process, we need to enter our backup password in the desktop version of the app. And that's it, Authy is now installed and synced on both my laptop and mobile phone. For additional security in Authy's settings, you can click on security to configure a pin code or face unlock for each time you open the app. This provides an extra layer of protection should your phone ever be compromised. Finally, I'll demonstrate the process of recovering your Authy account should you ever accidentally delete the app or as can happen if you upgrade your mobile phone. To recreate the scenario, I'll delete and reinstall the app. As before, we're asked to provide a phone number and Authy once again recognizes we already have an account. 
Now, because I had multi-device access enabled before deleting the account, I can use the desktop app to link the new instance of the mobile app. Again, we're asked to provide the backup password to decrypt all my linked accounts. And that's it. That is all that is required to restore Authy. However, if you don't have multi-device support enabled, you'll need to contact Authy to go through the account recovery process. Assuming you have a backup, you can still recover your account, but it will take a little bit longer. And that is how to set up Authy on desktop and mobile. If you found the video useful, I'd appreciate you giving it a like and hit subscribe for lots more quick tutorials like this one. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.